Hello everybody. Climate change, sustainability, uh, climate warming, ozone deployment are some new expressions that keep knocking our ears since three decades ago at least. Uh, when we study these expressions, we can we can study it from several points of view. In this short video, I will talk about the engineering point of view or the residential and architectural communities design, planning, and so on. Now we have to go in the long, far away history background. When at the start of the Earth, the start of the globe, the start of everything, which we can make an, a title for, for that as humans and environment. God has created the universe in harmony with itself and in a state of constant dynamic equilibrium and biological diverse that reflects the greatness of its creator and the sustainability of its elements. Whatever decrees in location increase in other, as all elements act as block in a building chain. When it comes to sustainability, whatever decrees in trees and animals gets naturally restored in a way that should that the normal consumption of living beings does not affect the plant's reserve of resources. Humans remind in humans keeping in harmony with all different aspects of the universe, peacefully enjoying what the universe has to offer for human as long as they were in peace and harmony with the environment. At some point, humans experienced an intense case of greed as they started altering the environment as it has never been altered before. The growing greed of prosperity and acquisition of more land and explosion of far more resources caused the plan to suffer the consequences of creators' irresponsible conduct that imbalance the fine equilibrium and diversity of the environment. The journey of humans' aggression of the environment took a serious turn in the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. As much as the Industrial Revolution has a positive turning point in the history of humanity, it also had massive moral, social, and environment ramifications. New toxic fumes polluted the air due to the unprecedented consumption of fossil fuels, ranging from coal to oil to chlorofluorocarbons used to air conditioner, conditioners and refrigerators. The Industrial Revolution led many humans to obtain the agricultural towns to metropolitan cities and in many cases turn many of agricultural lands into modern urban cities. On the bright side, even the darkest of the time, some humans tend to aware and responsible enough to attempt to undo the, some of the damage caused by their impious species. Countless numbers of conferences and conventions were held to discuss, the, to discuss and address the dangers of such uncalculated pursuit of prosperity under the expenses of environmental stability. 
Many protocols have been signed and guidelines have been set to address the, to address and limit the negative effect of rapid urban growth, especially the construction and operation of buildings that consume the bigger chunk of energy in cities and cause most of the hazards emissions. This ambitious attempt to study and manage the building performance and limit the negative impact on the surrounding environment is the start of what is widely known as green building or stability thinking. What is green or sustainable building? It is the practice of creating healthier and more resources efficient models of construction, innovation, operation, maintenance, and demolitions. Sustainable buildings are high performance structures that also meet certain standards of reducing natural resource consumption. Sustainable Sustainable thinking against uh, traditional thinking. Sustainable thinking through coordinated team efforts and experienced design decisions. The goal of a sustainable design or green design is to create high performance green projects that reduce the environmental impact related to infrastructure, increases employee productivity increases the efficiency of building operations and reduce life cycle cost. In 2008, New Building Institute report found that we building consume 24% less energy per square foot of floor area than traditional buildings. In this year also, the U.S. General Service Administration survey of 12 green buildings revealed the following savings and improvement. 13% lower in maintenance cost, 26 less, 26 percent less in energy usage, 27 percent high level of equation satisfactions, 33% lower carbon dioxide emissions. Additionally, green or sustainable building successfully addressed the aforementioned concerns of conventional design and construction practice related to building and community connections. Community, communities are being to recognize the benefits of sustainable solutions and over attractive tax incentives to certified commercial and residential green building projects. Green buildings or sustainable buildings for the future, recognizing the building operations need to be included in the design process in order to understand how to monitor and maintain the building performance. Sustainable thinking is about making reasonable choices, a balanced relationship between the environment social responsibility and economic visibility. Sustainable thinking encompasses all the aspects of the built environment including buildings, communities, transportation systems and the infrastructure required to support a sustainable environmental design. That's what, what we have for now and we'll continue in another, another video. Thank you.